pumping a mix of water, sand, and other chemicals into wells at high pressure to open cracks in reservoir rock makes the extraction of natural gas financially viable. The Marsalis Shale Formation in central New York is believed to be an ideal location for hydrofract gas production. Pumping a mix of water, sand, and other chemicals into wells at high pressures to open cracks in reservoir rock makes the extraction of natural gas financially viable. The Marsalis Shale Formation in central New York is believed to be an ideal location for hydrofract gas production. Hydraulic fractures naturally occur between layers of rocks where veins form. These fractures create conduits along which gas and other petroleum products condense from source rocks and migrate to reservoir rocks. Induced hydrofracking is a method used to speed up the process by pumping water under pressure between layers of source rock. The first commercially successful fracking application began in 1949. Today, 60% of all new oil and gas wells worldwide are being hydraulically fractured to some extent. The ability to drill horizontally through source rock has made fracking more profitable. However, the process of trucking in millions of gallons of fresh water and trucking out millions of gallons of contaminated water has raised environmental concerns such as aquifer contamination, land destruction, and the problems associated with transporting heavy machinery. How are hydrofracking wells different from other wells? Well, as I mentioned before, the main difference has to do with the horizontal bore through which a perforated pipe is installed. A slurry of gelling chemicals and water and sand are forced down the pipes under extremely high pressure. This mix is called slick water. This process is necessary to embed sand in the rock fissures. Sand is used to keep the fissures open. Once the sand is in place, reducing agents such as oxidizers and enzyme breakers are added to the mix to facilitate slick water removal. Unfortunately, slick water and the aromatic hydrocarbons that emerge from source rock are toxic. The slick water must be carried away and dumped in certified toxic dump sites. The sand that remains in the fissures allows the methane gas to pass and be collected. Do you think hydrofract gas is a viable alternative to liquid petroleum? Will it solve the global warming problem? Remember, the hydrofracking process consumes millions of gallons of fresh water and produces altogether billions of gallons of contaminated water. Methane is extracted from source rock but aromatic hydrocarbons are also released and these benzene derivatives are carcinogenic. Can you think of other alternatives?